Hi everyone, I'm Sabrina. Welcome to the S Factor Studio. One of my crafty goals for 2021 is to use my bullet journal more. My bullet journal is functional and it's an everyday bullet journal. I'm a wife, a mom, a nana, and a crafty girl. So my bullet journal is pretty much for my everyday schedules and activities. In the traditional bullet journal, there are certain elements that I've never used because it just didn't work for me. I'll link in the description box the um, Writer Carol's um, YouTube for bullet journaling. One of those things that I just didn't use was an index. And until I saw Auntie Taze, that's another video I'll link in the description box, um, the way she used her index just kind of clicked and it made more sense for me. So I am attempting to go ahead and try to use an index. Now, my year goes from July to June. So right now I am halfway through in my current bullet journal, but I want to start incorporating some things so that when I transition to the new journal in July, I'm already used to doing those things. Um, really what I want to show, I'm going to show the index, but as I went back into my bullet journal, um, I make mistakes. I don't, I don't know if you're like me, but I make a lot of mistakes. Like I said, my bullet journal is functional, but I would like for it to look a certain way, <laughs> especially when I go back and I, I go through it and I'm reflecting on the things that I've, I've done and I've written. Um, I would like for it to at least look neat. And I'm, I'm always making mistakes, even when I start with pencils. So I just wanted to show a couple of ways to cover up those mistakes. Um, for me, I'm just... I'm wanting to try to accumulate as many ways as possible that would work for me and my bullet journal in terms of, of covering up. So I'm going to go ahead and show what I did as I was going back into my current bullet journal to go ahead and start an index. Okay, so here's my bullet journal. This is actually a pre-printed bullet journal. This was the first one that I received in um, the Auntie Tay mystery box in March of 2020. And like I said, I don't, I don't use a key. I don't use an index. There's a bunch of elements that I just, I don't, I tend to not use. Um, this is a minimal index. These are the things that I had already started writing in this bullet journal and so really what I'm showing you here is that when I was just kind of brain dumping about how I could use the index after watching Auntie Tay's video I kind of scribbled out and pen different things in this area here and as you can see as you can see you cannot see it <laughs> so um it was it was pretty much a mess and there was no order to it I was just kind of jotting down and then decided, well, I'm going to go ahead and try it. So I'm not sure if, if I'm going to go ahead and end up indicating the page numbers for these items because then I would have to go in and, and actually uh, number the pages, which I'm not trying to do right now. So what I did here, since I like to paper craft and I have a lot of materials and supplies for paper crafting, I just took a piece of pretty cardstock and I measured out where I wanted to lay that down and it works so well I think it looks very pretty and then I added stickers now these stickers here are dimensional and I wouldn't do that next time because I like to keep things as flat as possible it's not horrible I have a folder in there so it's it's already opening but um I just prefer I noticed that I prefer these flatter stickers so one way to cover up, especially if it's a if if it's a larger area, is to use your pretty cardstock if you have it. Um, if not, you can also use if you want this to be even thinner. There are a number of different digital pages, um, digital paper 
and patterns that you can print on lighter weight cardstock and use that as well but I have plenty of this of different types of pattern cardstock so I like that idea for covering up um, next as I was going through so again this is a, a pre-printed um, bullet journal and you can see here the months were were laid out so this spread was almost like that except you know the months were written in different areas you know and in different orientations so I knew I still wanted to use this spread however I didn't want to use the months so another way outside of stickers which is I use these stickers here very easily can cover up mistakes or um, just something that you don't want to be seen. These are Agenda 52 stickers, I believe. And then what I did here was, if you see how the months are written out, I kind of went over with my pen and I was trying to create just like this little doodle to see if I could leave it like that, but I didn't like how it looked. So I did go over, you can kind of see it through this sticker here. And I used my pen to create a doodle, but then I drew a square around around that. And then I used um, just lines and hash marks and different doodles within that box. And then I went over it with my um, mild liner. That worked out fine for me because... Um, Especially since I'm trying to add a little bit more creativity. I like the idea of these little elements and the colors to add a little bit more character to the page. So I hope that gives you a few ideas on how to cover up mistake. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. God bless. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.